That's about right. Hey, y'all know what time it is, Holmes? Story time Tuesday. Hey, check this out. So, this is a sensitive one for me because um, I think I felt this more than anybody else. So, all right, check this out. This is a while back. We did a lot of shows, a lot of places, got a lot of great crowd reactions, you know what I'm saying? I opened up for like Cash Money. We shut down some Juneteenth performances. We've done a lot of big concerts with a lot of people around the 2004, 2005-ish, somewhere up in this, this time, right? So, might have been Baby Boy or Guitar. Somebody hooked it up to where we could actually uh, get a chance to audition to perform at the Showtime at the Apollo type deal at USM. Only we wasn't competing, we were special guests, you know what I mean? So we got to perform in front of uh, you know, about, about three different sororities and um, show them what we got, they love what we had, and they, and they put us on the show as special guests. So you got students out there at USM Southern Miss, you know what I'm saying, um, doing their thing. Um, mind you, I had already went to Southern Miss for like a year or so, and uh, this is one of the first times I ever just came back to perform and do anything there. So, get down to this concert. And we started noticing, um, you know, you had a lot of good acts, you had a lot of variety, you got dancers, rappers, singers, whomever. You know what I'm saying? I think we was in our Bennett Auditorium. It was packed, you know, a lot of energy. So we sitting there like, yeah, bro, this finna, this finna be the lit, cause we gonna go out there and do what we always do. You know what I'm saying? We about to go out here, hold it down, handle our business, you know what I'm saying? We were doing songs that we rocked the crowd with when we opened up for Cash Money. Uh, songs that I rocked the crowd with when I won like big talent shows and stuff like that back in the gap. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, that we, we doing that type of music. So we already know what the energy gonna be, right? So, you know, now another thing that we did notice though, um, I don't know what was going on with the sound system. Shout out to my boy DJ Sweat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe he was having the ones, the tools that day, but I don't know what was going on with the sound in the place. So, it wasn't the best, but people seemed to be I right, showing love to the, you know, whoever's performing. So, they announced us. Curtains go back. Let me, let me tell you how serious we was and how we just knew we was about to rock that thing. We was posing. I was like back to back, you know what I'm saying, with somebody. It was a couple of somebody over here, somebody over there, about five of us, you know what I'm saying? We we was about to rock that joint. They don't know what's about to hit them. We didn't know what was about to hit us. Here's what had happened. We was posing, that curtain opened up, and we started doing our thing. I think we might have opened up with, uh, we had this song called Mississippi Boy that was like such a big hit in so many places. And I noticed when like, first verse came on, I'm like, hey man, this is looking kinda, they ain't really, they ain't really reacting like that. Now at the time, I ain't know it was probably cause they ain't really know who we were like that. Cause I guess um, what we had going on in the city was a little bit different than what people had going on on, on the campus, you know what I'm saying? So they didn't really know us like that, you know what I mean? It was like two different worlds or something. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm just like, you know what? When my verse come up on this song, I'm about to come and light this thing up. I'm, I'm, I'm sure how, you know what I'm saying, what it is. And I was so serious. I had I had my shirt on my shoulder. I came up there, bam, threw my shirt off, and I got up there doing my usual things. You know, I was doing my best um, Ecclesian, and um, the crowd just uh, didn't give a, a damn. So I was like, okay, this is, this is weird. So by the time the next song came on, Man, look, uh, <laughs> Baby Boy or somebody started throwing our CDs out into the crowd like we always do. People go nuts, they, they like free stuff. Man, let me tell y'all, these folk act like we came out shooting. I'm talking about, they were like, no, no. I was like, hey, I mean, no, these are our CDs. No, no, if somebody gets hurt, we'll be liable. Stop throwing the, the stuff. I'm just like, so, bruh, when I tell you they started throwing CDs back at us, people was tripping, they just booed the hell out of us. I ain't never been booed in my life, son. Never. So, I'm like, look, I understand that y'all may not know who we are. I understand that this sound system is kind of, you know, tripping. But, come on, man, like, what is this? Like, I'm like, we're doing the same music 
that was just rocking other crowds. Like they was about to tear clothes off of us at these cash money shows and other shows that we did. But at USM, Bennett Auditorium, they ain't give a damn. I'm like, I don't even know if we made it through the whole show. All I know is that we all reacted in different ways. We went upstairs and, <laughs> okay, here's the thing. What I didn't mention earlier is that Kataz, even though we were special guests, we definitely wasn't uh, treated special at all. Hmm. Kataz uh, actually auditioned to be in the competition part two. So um, <laughs> he was getting ready for his performance. And now Baby Boy, he went downstairs pretty much like wishing a mother would. So he was like, y'all threw them CDs back at me. Let's see what y'all do to my face when I'm down here. So he went right back into the crowd. Kataz got ready to do a show. Baby Boy went back into the crowd. Little E was like, I, I, I stayed upstairs because I, I couldn't face him. And I'm thinking, look, I done, I done did all this new stuff with music. I done, I, done, I, done, I done made some headway, you know what I'm saying? I done made some accomplishments. I'm about to come back to USM and show them how we get down. And they booed the hell out of us. I felt like I was in the Twilight Zone. I was like, what was that? The song was supposed to work. The songs always work. This is the same song we did and people went crazy. They're doing the opposite. What the hell is going on? I was not okay. Nope. So then I heard this, I heard this voice. And I get up and I look down. I'm a, it's like an auditorium, uh, it's like a balcony like area and I can still see the stage. And I look down and Kataz is singing Fly Without Wings by Ruben Stutter. People are waving their hands. The crowd is swaying. Somebody might have put a, a cigarette lighter up. I'm like, what? I'm like, I know this ain't the same crowd. So after after all that crazy energy, after all that getting booed and them throwing CDs back at us and all this craziness going on, you know, Ruben Stutter, big dude, great voice. Kataz, big dude, great voice. Had them in the palm of his hand, dog. And I'm just like, I was like, you know what? That's that's the only thing that made me feel better that whole entire night. I was up there waving my hands too, man. So I know they say all is well that ends well. Listen, USM didn't show us no love that day. None, son. But I will say this, we ain't been booed since. None of us. Ain't nobody from the squad been booed on stage ever, off stage, never, never, never. That's probably why I'm such a great performer today. Cause I ain't trying to have that happen no more ever. Now, still a little sensitive about that day. That's all I got for y'all. Listen, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You know what I'm talking about? Join the notification squad so you know what's happening right when it happens. Uh, if you're on Facebook, hey man, invite your people to like my page. Hit that community tab if you got to. Uh, you'll see your friends list come up with the words invite by each of their names. Hit that invite button. We got to build these pages up, man. I appreciate y'all. Uh, keep showing love, man. Keep sharing my Storytime Tuesday videos. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Until next time.